Hello everyone, dudes are doing this one like welcome to the part two of the amazing somewhat thing. I don't know what I'm gonna call it, so we're just gonna call it a project. So if you didn't catch up on the last episode, which I will link in the description, we have finally got every single Easter egg done. We acquired director's cut, and I mean it's really short on this one, so there's really only one thing we need to talk about, and that is the final event. Now as you see right, right now on screen is everything pretty much I have done. Space, land, grave, shallon, you know, the others and all that. I have acquired something called a talisman. In director's cut, you basically just redo the easter egg, and this time instead of the soul key, you will get a talisman. Now, they don't really do anything, just give you cool calling cards, but what we really need to focus on is Beast from Beyond. Once you beat that easter egg in director's cut mode, well, you'll be ported into a secret boss fight arena inside of the, um, I guess, if you want to call it the Afterlife Arcade. And this is where gets real. And I'm going to explain everything what it is. But first, we need some bit of a, maybe like a context. So, um, here's the cutscene to this secret. You have served thy master well. Who the hell are you? I am nothing more than the one that has created this manifestation of reality you've yearned for. I am no one, and I am everyone. But to you, you may call me Master. You're crazy in the head, man. We didn't ask for any of this. Hey, look, man, I don't care who you are, but this theater, this, this place, I ain't never asked for this shit. And I can tell you right now, that master BS ain't cracking, bruh, bruh. Uh-uh. Is this not what you sought? A return to this very sanctuary? Greetings, young grasshopper. What is it that you desire most? Can you please tell me how to get out of here? Back to that damn field of this nightmare and take everyone that's trapped here with me. I need someone to collect souls, and you have proven to be worthy of such a task. Bow before your new master. I shall consume your soul. Ladies and gentlemen, dudes and dudettes, one like, boys and girls, gender fluid hermit crabs, or whatever you identify, I don't know how this world works anymore, welcome to one of, if not perhaps the best, another boss fight that ever existed in Call of Duty Zombies, perhaps the best easter egg that ever has, I guess, been released to the public, this is the Mephistopheles boss fight. Now I could just sit here and yap about how I got to where I'm at right now. I ain't gonna do that. But what I will do is yap how the boss fight works, and then I'll just show off my entire gameplay. Now, first things first, just to give you the idea how terrible this boss is because of how absurdly difficult it can get when you're not prepared, uh, you, I, you get moments like this. I'm dead. Yeah, because my freaking... This. Should I just use the venom? I should just use the venom. And this. Now that's just a few clips right there. There was still more. Now there's a lot to explain about this, so I'm gonna try and make this short as possible. First things first, this boss fight has a lot of restrictions. Two things to be in mind. One is I'm not a lot of cards from fate and fortune you cannot use one for example is a card called hide and seek which will pretty much make you invisible for like 10 seconds from any enemies which is real useful especially for what you have to do in the boss fight because in the boss fight there are like these five captures or talisman like ritual circles and all you have to do is just stand in them now here's what makes it tough though is you can't use that card so you're gonna have to be pretty much on the lookout for anything that's coming after you Another one, too, is the boss fight itself. You actually have to get through Beast from Beyond first in order to make your way to Mef. So it's 
It's a real lengthy boss fight, and what sucks is that if you die any time in the boss fight, you will have to restart and do me or Beast from Beyond all over again. And that boss is already kind of lengthy if you don't know any of the glitches or, st or strategic paths and everything um, to defeat the blue rhinos or get set up, etc, etc. So other than, I guess, the complications such, when you do get into the boss fight, you're going to be experiencing a lot of things. The big one that you're going to mostly have to be aware of is how you're going to even defeat. So the boss fight, in order to beat it, is within the actual arena. So there, those talismans we collected, even though... Really, they don't really matter, but they're just there for, I guess, storytelling-wise. So, there are these five, um, like, insignias, ritual circles. All you pretty much have to do is, like, capture a point, like if it's domination. So, for you multiplayer nerds out there, you might know what I'm talking about. But for those who aren't familiar, basically, you're just, like, holding a point, a holding a spot until it's complete or captured. Simple as that. And there's five of them, and you just gotta do it on all of all, like, all of them. And... What makes this difficult, though, is while, you know, you're capturing, the Mephistopheles boss fight will actually either do a couple attacks. Uh, most of them will um, consider uh, rising his own army of skeletons, or zombies if you want to be simple, or throwing fireballs. It's the fireballs you really need to be careful of, because they're fast. So, you got to find these cues in order to, well, dodge. So, always give out callouts and everything, like, you have to lock in for this. And there are two extra other attacks that he'll do. One is pretty simple to dodge, and that's his dolphin dive attack. And then another one where you just simply prone, especially on the point, so you'll be fine. And that would be his black hole ability. Besides that, all you have to do, all you pretty much have to do is capture some points, and then some souls will fly in. And with a weapon called the Entangler, which you got from Beast, you'll just pretty much do what I like to call Ghostbusters. You just grab these wisps, like spirit orbs or whatever and you just throw it at the demon until he something on him glows and then you just shoot it rinse and repeat it five times and then you just gotta bullet spray him and then from there you can just um like with the others this time instead of capturing you just activate them and then you just full send a bunch of bullets and boom if you kill him you win the game it's it's simple you just pretty much playing domination then ghostbusters repeat five times and then you just spray the everlapping crap out of him. Last thing I will discuss is how many attacks Neff has. Now, the boss fight, I mean, again, on paper it's easy, but in practice, like, you have to find a bunch of ways to, like, you know, like these cues and all that, sound effects. You have to give out call outs, and they're gonna be very useful because, and I don't know if I said it earlier, I kind of forgot, the. A bunch of the attacks that Meph will, you know, throw at you will one hit or at least get your red screen to where you can be a one hit. So, he's no joke to mess around with. So, I believe there are like nine attacks. I already mentioned um, the, you know, rising his army, dolphin dive, black hole, and of course his fireball attack. But there's also others. Each time you capture a talisman, there will be an intermission round. And within this intermission round, there will be a bunch of mini bosses from previous maps. Um, Beast from, from Beast from Beyond's Cryptids, um, the clowns from Spaceland, and you know, etc, etc. But in between them, there'll be a giant meteor shower, and then you'll gain a new attack after when you capture a new point. And these new points, they're randomized, but all you need to know is that all the attacks will be as follows. You know, there's one where I like to call Divide, where he'll di well, divide the arena with a giant wall. If you gain near the wall, it'll actually kill you, so you gotta be careful with your surroundings. The other one I call a Grand Slam. He'll teleport in the middle, rise up above the ground, and just, well, bam, Grand Slam into the ground. And if you're close to it or you don't have good cover, you'll instantly go down as a wipe attack. The next one is a Meteor. Now, unlike his Fireball, I call this one a Meteor Strike. For this one, it's kind of explanatory. He just throws a Meteor at you. That's practically it. And then the next one, and perhaps the most deadliest one that people um, always complain about, and that is his tornado attack. Now, his tornado attack, what I like to call the star, and like, I guess five points, he'll spin a tornado in the middle, and it'll actually spread, and another one spread about on like on the side, so it'll like shift a little bit. So it's all about just knowing your position, but around the time the tornadoes are twisting, you'll also launch other attacks, like rising the army, or fireball, or even dividing a wall. So. Be careful with that one. Personally, I never have any hard trouble with that one, um, as far as I can remember. But those are pretty hard. And when you do capture all the points, 
the old duo on all, he'll do every single attack at you at once. Now, there is a final attack, but you, don't really, you really don't have to worry about it unless your weapon really sucks. When you do capture all the points and you activate them, he'll do what I like to call House of the Rising Sun. Ironically, because it's also one of my favorite songs, too. And stories, fun fact. And basically, he'll literally make a sun above him, and if you let him charge it enough, he just instantly kills the game. You don't even get a chance, a revive or anything, you, you just die, game over. Yeah, that's a mouthful. I've been recording that for three minutes, yikes. Alright, well, I'm going to wrap it up. Again, there's a lot to talk about. Um, you just got to watch for yourself. Um, it took me a couple of days for me to finally beat Mephistopheles, so you're going to see my reaction and everything to finally beating this boss fight. I hope you guys enjoy, and um, yeah, oh, and also, I hope you guys will like the ending of it, because um, you're going to see another side of me you'll rarely see in a video game. Alright, with that, I hope you dudes and dudes enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe, and um, yeah, let's go. Yeah, I just want to alliterate that I was so far into this, I went insane, and I just started doing the YMCA every time I see the cutscenes, so yeah, that was fun.
that sucks. Slam. shut off so I just I just lost connection to chat plus I need a breather hold up fucking Xbox dude back online.
karate guy. Encrypted and where the I need to... 